to the California College campus on edge this morning following three stabbings that left two people dead, including a student. And police say the attacks could be linked. Will Carr is in Davis, California with the latest on a search for a suspect. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Michael. Since Thursday, there has been a stabbing every other night. One UC Davis student had just won an award at a ceremony and was walking home when he was stabbed and killed. This morning, police are trying to figure out who is responsible for this stabbing spree and why. This morning, an urgent manhunt is underway after three people were stabbed in a Northern California college town, leaving two dead and one in the ICU. This is different, um, and uh, the attacks were particularly violent and brazen. The three separate stabbings all occurring at night in Davis, just west of Sacramento. We're not getting information that somebody is possibly stabbed. The latest attack happening Monday night. A woman calling 911 telling authorities she'd been stabbed multiple times through her tent. She was hospitalized in critical condition. The FBI now assisting police trying to determine if the crimes are linked. The suspect in each described as a college-aged man with curly hair. 20-year-old UC Davis student Kareem Abu Najm attacked in Sycamore Park Saturday night. We have a medical doctor who found this male subject who was gasping for air and he's bleeding on his entire body. His father, a professor at the school, saying they regularly took the path he was found on. Kareem has gone. We were just, you know, doing his funeral arrangements rather than preparing for his graduation party. His death coming on the heels of David Bros, a beloved community member who was homeless. His expression was peaceful, was compassion, empathy, tolerance. His love was unconditional. The campus of UC Davis on edge. We have beefed up police presence. People are anxious and fearful, and rightfully so. We're outside of the Davis Police Department this morning, and over the past 24 hours, we have seen officers spread out across this city. It comes as UC Davis has asked students to study virtually at night to stay as safe as possible. Guys. Mm, what a story that is. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.